Hi again guys, it's another Gran Turismo 6 tuning video for you today. This time for a pretty impressive super sports car, the Mercedes SLS AMG. And uh, for those of you who follow my videos regularly, you'll know that I did a tune setup for the GT3 version of this uh, a couple of weeks ago. If you didn't know about that, I would recommend going to check that out as well, because the GT3 is a seriously quick car. But uh, anyway, you want your racing soft tyres, as always. As far as suspension, we've got the ride height relatively moderate on 90 front and rear, rounded off the spring rate to 725 and 925, dampers and anti-roll on 4 as usual, camber slightly higher than usual on 1.5 and neutral toe so it's not dragging its tyres. I've got the auto setting as high as possible as you can see and final drive of 3.5. As far as the diff, we've got the initial torque low to reduce wheel spin high acceleration and low braking excuse me and we've got all the power upgrades uh, I haven't actually fitted NOS on this car mainly because I don't use it that much uh, you definitely want weight loss on this one because like most Mercs it's quite heavy and unfortunately you can't adjust the rear downforce but uh, you could do what I've done which is uh, remove the rear wing which does help with top speed because obviously the SLS usually has a, a wing that deploys at a certain speed but uh, at extremely high speed that, that just works against you like an air brake so I removed it. Then again I don't know how realistic this game is in terms of aerodynamics so you may get the same speed by leaving it on, who knows. Uh, but uh, we've got traction control turned off as usual and yeah the SLS is a, it's a pretty quick car, pretty decent looking car um, I didn't really like it when I first saw it, but it's kind of grown on me. Um, the reason for the weird colour, uh, likewise on the GT3 version, which I actually have in the same colour, is because my favourite version of the SLS is actually the E-Drive, the fully electric version, which is the most powerful Mercedes ever made. But, uh, or the most powerful Mercedes road car ever made, I should say. But unfortunately that one's not on the game. Not yet, anyway. So I've just painted this one green as a homage to that one. But yeah, it's it's a pretty quick car, as you can see. It has a cruising speed, I believe, around 270, or just over, apparently, because I haven't driven this car in quite a while. And as you can see, it's fairly far away from the red line, so you can easily do over 300 with slip and or with nos. And uh, yeah, so it's it's a pretty good car, actually. Um, so yeah, hope this tune setup helps, and as always, thanks for watching.